Would you like to be able to secure your database environment in just a few easy steps? With Nutanix Flow Network Security, you can do that and make micro-segmentation painless, even if you are a network novice. Hello, my name is David Teague, and today we're going to talk about how to secure a database environment with Nutanix Flow Network Security. This is not one of the products I normally make videos about, but Flow Network Security makes this process easy. So let's jump right in and see how it works. First, we need to check if Nutanix Flow security is enabled. We're going to do this by logging into Prism Central and navigating to the Prism Central settings section. Then we're going to select micro segmentation under Flow. If it is not already activated, you can do that here. You will need the correct permissions to make these changes. If Nutanix Flow is not licensed, you can take advantage of a 60 day trial to explore its features. Now that we've checked the status of Flow security, Let's jump up to the security policies under Network and Security and create our policy to control what servers have access to the database servers and which ports. After clicking on Create Security Policy, we're going to choose Secure Entities Application Policy from the options presented. Then give the policy a name and, if you like, a purpose. Under Scope of Secure Entities, we will leave VLAN subnet selected. I'm going to leave IPv6 traffic blocked as we do not use that with these databases. And I am going to enable policy hit logs so we can see what traffic is being captured by the policy. Then click Next to advance. On the next screen, you will see a visual representation of how Flow sets up the policies to secure your application. I'm going to change the Add Source Spy option to Subnet IP. Next, I'm going to add my subnet that NDB is on and the subnet for applications that need access to the database servers. I'm then going to add a category that has my database servers under Secure Entities. For this policy, I'm not going to filter outbound connections, but you have that option if you need it. Now I need to link my inbound to the secured entities. Flow gives you many choices on how you would like to secure your environment. You can use a category, like I did under secure entities, a specific network address, or a network address range, like I did under inbounds. This reminds me of those choose your own adventure books I read as a kid, as you can choose many different options to secure your environments. I will start by selecting the NDB subnet and clicking the plus next to Secured Entities. I will then select a service and select NDB in the service details. This service was set up to allow the ports needed by NDB to manage the database it supports. You can find the correct ports used by NDB on the support portal. When completed, click Save. Next, I will select my application address range. A service was created ahead of time to cover the ports needed to connect to the database servers. Once the correct selection is made, click Save. Once that is complete, I will click Next. And under the review page, I will choose Apply Monitor. This will allow me to monitor what would be blocked by the policy when it is changed to Enforce. I will then confirm that change. Next, we need to add our database servers to the database category that was created. From the menu on the left, select VMs. Then select the database VMs you want to add to the category. When the correct VMs are selected, click Actions, Other Actions, and categories. On the search screen, type databases. Click on the database category to select it. This will show you what security policies are applied to that category. With our selection made, we will click Save to continue. Let's go back to our policy by choosing Security Policies under Network and Security. That traffic that is shown highlighted in yellow is traffic that will be blocked when the security policy is set to enforced. Because the security policy is not set to enforce, I can SSH from my laptop into a MongoDB database server that is part of the security policy. I have started a ping from my laptop to that server, which is displayed on the lower right of the screen. If I change the security policy to enforcing by choosing Actions Enforcing, the ping will stop. And if I exit out of the session, we can see that I am unable to connect via SSH. With the policy set to enforcing, you can see that the IP that was highlighted in yellow is now highlighted in red, showing that it is being blocked. The database category allows SSH from approved networks under inbounds, and since it's not from an allowed network, it is blocked. You have lots of choices on what to allow or block using flow security policies, and it's not limited to network and devices running on Nutanix like we saw with my laptop. You can also create more granular categories and services for each database engine instead of a more generic category as I did for this video. So that's how easy it is to use Flow Network Security Policies. 
With just a few clicks, you can create categories and services to secure database servers. And any new database servers that are created and added to those categories will have those policies apply. Wow, wasn't that smooth? You can learn more about network flow security by clicking on the playlist shown here. You can also learn more about the Nutanix database service and running databases on Nutanix by choosing the NDB playlist shown here. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on some great information.